everybody! In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this really beautiful, very very simple crochet scarf. If this is your first time visiting the Blossom Crochet channel then do just take a moment now to subscribe so that you can keep up to date with all of my tutorials and videos and things. But my name is Rebecca and this beautiful scarf is so easy and simple. It is a one row repeat which is always really nice and it's one of those that's quite mindless so once you get going you don't really need to think about it and you can just crack on with it while you're listening to your music or watching the TV. I'm just going to give you a little close up there so I'm hoping you can see those beautiful stitches So it's a variation on a cluster stitch and chain spaces and things which is what gives it that lovely diagonal sort of lopsided effect. So the yarn that I used for the finished scarf that you can see there is the James Seabrett Northern Lights which is a DK yarn and this one is shade NL08 and there are 450 metres in this and I've used most of it. I've got just this little bit here left so I could have added a few more rows but I wasn't sure how much I was going to need for the fringe and things so yeah I've got this little bit left over which is what I'm going to do the tutorial with so yeah it's the Northern Lights yarn. Now this is a really long scarf I don't know about you but I like to have a slightly narrower scarf and have it really long so that I can wrap it around my neck a few times so this scarf is long enough to go around my neck twice and also then fold across to tuck inside a jacket. So I'll leave the exact length in the description box but I haven't measured it yet so I will do that and then leave it in the description. And then you can finish your project off with whatever you like but I've just done some really simple tassels um, or fringe and I just wanted to keep it pretty simple but it just finishes it off nicely. So there we go, another little look at these stitches. So for the project I used a 5mm hook. It only recommends a 4mm for that particular yarn but I wanted to do a bigger hook so that it would have a slightly better drape at the end. I didn't want it to be too stiff. So for my exact scarf I did a chain of 30 plus 4 but you can amend that to make your scarf wider if you want to. You just need to do a multiple of 6 plus 4. So 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So like I say if you just complete your foundation chain I'll be doing 30 plus 4 but as I say if you want to do it wider just a multiple of 6 plus 4 at the end. Okay so I've completed my foundation chain and I've done my additional 4 stitches. We're going to jump straight into a cluster stitch now. So you're going to be working in the 7th chain from the hook. So you're going to count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then into your 7th you're going to start your cluster. So you'll yarn over, insert into that 7th stitch, yarn over and pull up and you'll have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first 2 loops and then stop. And you're going to put, and you're going to do that 2 more times. So yarn over, insert back into that same chain, yarn over and pull up. You'll have four loops this time, yarn over, pull through the first two and then once more yarn over, back into the same chain, yarn over and pull up. You'll have five loops, yarn over and pull through the first two. So you should now be left with four loops on your hook. So you want to yarn over and pull through all of those loops and chain one. Now that is your beginning cluster stitch. 
So that chain one counts as part of your cluster. Now, one thing that you will need to remember throughout the entirety of the project is that the first cluster that you do on every single row will only consist of three stitches, but all of the others along the row will have four. So you now want to chain two and then back into that same chain again, you're going to do a treble crochet. So please remember in the US, this is your double crochet. So yarn over, back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull up, you'll have your three loops. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is your first set of stitches. So we're going to move on now, we're going to skip five chains. So we're gonna skip one, two, three, four and five. And into the sixth chain, you'll do your next cluster. So yarn over, insert into that sixth chain along, yarn over and pull up. It can be a bit fiddly working this. <laughs> and then yarn over and pull through the first two stitches. And remember we're doing four into this chain. So yarn over, back in the same chain, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, that's two. And again, yarn over, insert, and yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, that's three, and one more, yarn over, pull through two, and then again, you'll yarn over and pull through all of those stitches and do a chain one to complete your cluster stitch. Chain two. And then back into that same chain, you're going to put one more treble crochet. Yarn over and pull up. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then again, you'll skip five and do the same into the sixth stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. And then into your sixth, you will go straight into your cluster stitch. So remember, it's only the very first one of a round that only has three stitches. The rest of them have four in the cluster. Yarn over and pull up. Yarn over, pull through two, that's two. Three. And four. And then yarn over, pull through all the loops and chain one to complete your cluster. Chain two, and then a treble back into that chain that you've worked all those other stitches. So you're going to carry that on now. You're going to do your cluster, which consists of four stitches, and then your chain one, which always finishes your cluster. Chain two, and one treble back all into the same chain space skip five chains and repeat. So if you want to complete that all the way along and I will meet you as you get back towards the end. So I've completed my final set of stitches and then I'm going to finish the round with one treble into that very last chain. So you're gonna skip those couple of chains and then do one treble into your very final chain. And that is how we should be looking so far. If you've followed the dimensions for the scarf, then you will have five sets of clusters. So then we're going to turn your work and then insert your hook into that very first stitch, exactly where your tail end is coming from. You'll insert your hook, yarn over and pull up, and you'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, and pull through two. And you can see now this stitch has got two vertical sections to it. You want to insert your hook behind that one <laughs> and yarn over and pull up again and yarn over, pull through two. And that just gives you a treble height stitch but without having to do the chain or the leaving any gaps or anything like that. If you wish, you may want to pop a stitch marker into the top of this stitch just to help with your edges 
but edges on this one are pretty simple. Okay, so from now on, we're going to be working in the chain spaces that were created in the previous row. So you can see here we've got your treble and you've got your cluster stitch. So it's going to go in between those into this chain space. So you'll go straight into your cluster. But remember this first cluster on every row only consists of three stitches, not four. So yarn over and pull through two, that's one, two, and three, and then yarn over, pull through them all, chain one to complete your cluster, chain two, and then back into that same chain space, you're going to do your treble. You're then going to skip across to your next chain two space. So you'll be skipping across the cluster and the next treble and working into your next chain space. And now you're back to doing your four treble clusters. So one, two, three, four, Yarn over, pull through them all, chain one, chain two, and then back into that chain space, you'll do one treble. So I'll just do one more. So you're then going to skip across to your next chain space. So you'll skip the cluster and the treble and straight into your next treble cluster. Two, three, Four, yarn over and pull through them all and your chain one, chain two and treble back into that space and you'll continue that all the way along and I will meet you as you get to the end but I've obviously only got one left here so I've got my final chain space so I've got my cluster to skip and my treble I'll complete my Final treble cluster, two, three, four, chain one, chain two, and then my final treble back into that chain space. And then you've got your final cluster at the end of this row and then you've got your chains that we skipped at the beginning. So if you can see here, we've got quite a long stitch just there, which is the top of the cluster. So it sits just on the top of that cluster and you want to work into the chain next to it. So you're going to put one treble into the chain just after the top of your cluster stitch. So that is how you should be looking after your first couple of rows. I'll do one more row with you now, but obviously this is the row that you just repeat over and over. So you'll turn, insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both, and then go behind the vertical part of your stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both and then you're ready to work straight into your first chain two space between your treble and your clusters and your first stitch is always only three trebles in this cluster two and three chain one for your cluster chain two and then your treble back into that chain space and then again now you're ready to work into your next chain space and you'll be back to doing your four treble clusters two three four chain one and then your chain two 
and your treble. And then again, you'll work that all the way along until you get to the end. Always remember to do your final treble in the space as well. So I'll just work this last group of stitches and then just reiterate to you exactly where your final stitch of the row will need to go. Okay, so again, you'll skip your final cluster and you've got that longer stitch here at the top of your cluster, you can see there, and then you've got your shortest your smaller stitch next to it which is the top of that starting stitch that we did so you'll yarn over skip the top of your cluster and work into the top of the next stitch along with your treble and that is it that is literally the row that you will repeat over and over let me just bring back my finished scarf so you can see it looks really beautiful in this yarn because the white flecks I think just give it this added little bit of coziness and rusticness which I really like and I just think it works really well with the stitch pattern because you don't get that much stitch definition with this particular yarn so it needed to be something simple but quite lacy and I think it just works really beautifully with this cluster stitch. I really like how it is turned out and I hope you do too and obviously I just finished mine as I said with some really simple fringe and I will leave a link to the tutorial for that in my description box. I've got seven tassels so I've got one in the centre and then three either side because I'm a thing for symmetry <laughs> so I've got seven on each on each end of my scarf. So that is it for this beautiful cosy cluster stitch video. I really hope that you enjoy making it and do remember to tag me on Instagram if you make anything from my videos because I really do love to see and to share as well. But that is it and I will see you for another video really soon. Bye for now.